It's irrigation day. The ducks are really enjoying this. Check out these uh, these little these little birds right here. I am actually not sure what they are. But everybody's enjoying the lake we have right now. Except for Thanksgiving. He's like, I don't know about all this. I'm going to stay on dry land. So today was a really warm day. So it's really nice to have all this irrigation. We have temperatures above 110 for over a week and it's been really warm. So this is a huge relief to the animals and everything. Thanksgiving is looking good. And I should confirm, he is a Tom for sure. Uh, his snoot is developing, his waddle is developing, he's been gobbling, and he's been strutting too, which is pretty awesome. I'll try to get video of that, but it's pretty tough. It's very unpredictable. But he's a nice, friendly bird. You know, he's, he's, he's quite large. Why are those right there? Those, I'm not actually sure what those birds are. I have to, I have to go look it up. But they, they might be migrating. Maybe they're on their way somewhere. But they're looking for bugs and seeds in the, in the grass, in the water. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, if you go too close, they'll fly away. Because they're wild. So it's almost time to put the ducks away for the night. It's going to be a little tough, but the, the sun is going down. It's already down behind the White Tank Mountains over there. You can't see it. <clears throat> so we're here uh, getting ready to put everything, put all the birds to bed so they stay safe. Our gray chickens um, have no issue with this. They're elevated. The red birds, on the other hand, do have some issues with irrigation water. They don't enjoy it, but they have some roosts in the coop there. It's a little hard to see but they will roost on the on the roosting bars to stay out of the water the red birds are about 15 weeks old now and so we're getting very close to harvest time I we've been very very impressed with their overall hardiness we haven't lost any really to um, to heat stroke or disease or anything like that we did have one, we're not quite sure what his issue was. He was definitely overweight, he could hardly walk. And so we, we harvested him because it was clear he wasn't gonna make it. But the others are, are really putting on a lot of weight. We've been very impressed with them. Yes? Oh, check this out. Look, look, Thanksgiving is, is can you wave at him a little bit? Move a little bit? He, he wants to strut. He wants to show you his fan. Look at his waddle, it's very red. Can you fan out for us Thanksgiving? Come on, you can do it. You can do it, big boy. Come on, yeah, let's do it. Come on, show us what you got. Show us what a handsome fellow you are. Yeah, don't peck my hand. <laughs> He's super friendly. So this is what irrigation day on the farm looks like. We've been very lucky today. Um, most of the uh, for the last two months. Yeah, you can go over there. We've been getting irrigation times during the night, and it has been a challenge trying to get get up and manage it and everything. So tonight we flooded two sections here. The third section is where the cows are, so we did not flood that. And uh, we just used the times to give us a little bit of flexibility so that we can manage it. This side where the orchard is definitely needed water. It's been pretty dry, and this side has been pretty dry too. We watered a week ago, but we didn't get enough on either one of these. And so we're watering again tonight. So that's what's been going on today. Saving Miller out.